So in this question, what they ask us to do is to find the maximum length, okay? So we're going to definitely use calculus. So we need to find a formula for maximum length. Now guys, it's actually very easy. Check this out. If I gave you the coordinates of Q as 2 and 4, and R would obviously have the same X value because it's vertically above, maybe it would be 2 and 10. How would you find the length of RQ? Well, what you would have said is you would have taken the Y value of R minus the Y value of Q, which would have been 10 minus 4, and would have given you 6. So I want you to get used to this idea of taking the Y value of the top point minusing the Y value of the bottom point, and that will always give you the vertical length. Now all that you do is, unfortunately we don't have any coordinates. So what we do is we say y top, so that's the y value of r, which would be from this equation. This f of x part here is a y, so it's saying that y is equal to this. So we can replace y top with 6x minus 2x squared, then we say minus in brackets, and then we say y bottom, which would just be its equation, which is 2x. And we don't make that equal to zero because then you are saying the length is zero. You just make it equal to length. Well, in fact, let's call it RQ. Easy as that. Now all that we do is we simplify to RQ, and that's going to give us 4x minus 2x squared, and that's the length of RQ. Now we've seen this in previous lessons. For any type of minimum and maximum, like if I had to show you a graph, to find turning points, or to find maximums and minimums, it's always the first derivative equal to zero. So we're trying to find the maximum length, so we take the length formula, which is the one we've just made, and we take the first derivative, so I'm going to say rq like that, and that's going to be 4 minus 4x. What we then do is we make that equal to zero, so 4 would be, oh, let me first go, 4 minus 4x equals zero, then we say 4x is equal to 4, x would be 1. Now guys, that's the x value, but it's not the maximum length. So what you then do is you take that value and you plug it back into the original formula for the length, and that would mean that RQ, the length of RQ is going to be 4 times 1 minus 2 times 1 squared, and that will give us a length of 2.